Hey what's up guys it's Charles here from Technological and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to overclock any Android device that is rooted and this is probably going to be the easiest tutorial on how to overclock your Android device. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go to the App Store and download the Antutu CPU Master Free Edition. Um, so basically after you downloaded that app what you're going to do is you're going to open it up and just wait for that to load uh, and it will show you your max CPU and minimum uh, so you can obviously just change it very easily by sliding and clicking the apply button now I lost the footage for my quadrant but my score was around 2700 on the stock CPU settings uh, so 1 gigahertz max and now I'm gonna bring it up to 1.5 gigahertz and run the quadrant test one more time now I do actually have the footage for this one and I have sped it up so it doesn't take too long now wh while it loads I want to just tell you a few of the negativities to overclocking your CPU now this may decrease the life of your phone um, and it can also uh, do some other things and I'll tell you that in a second after I show you the score it got a total of 3700 which is a whole 1000 uh, more than the original score uh, and now I'm just going to put it back to stock settings and run the Antutu benchmark. Um, so back to what I was saying, uh, overclocking your device has some negative sides to it actually. Unstability uh, is a common problem as well as some other things like your your CPU not lasting as long as it should. Um, now these problems do occur but it's not extreme. Um, so I do recommend not overclocking the highest possible, maybe like um, 200 megahertz more, which would be like if you have a 1 gigahertz, then it would be 1.2 gigahertz, something like that. I did 1.5 gigahertz for testing purposes. Now, you can run it, and it's your own risk, but it will improve the performance and the stability may go down a bit. So, we're coming to an end on the first and 2 2 test. Uh, now, this one took quite long because the CPU wasn't as powerful, but the other one does not take as long. Um, and the score will be coming up very soon right about now now <laughs> it gets a 5508 which is an okay score but once you overclock it I'm gonna put it at 1.4 gigahertz not 1.5 I might have said that but uh, and then I'm gonna put the minimum at 500 megahertz and just apply and now I'm gonna run the Antutu benchmark once more Now you could probably you should probably do this with your phone to see how well the performance increases gradually and see where you kind of want it at. Obviously, you're going to be able to test it out and see whether your phone is stable with your overclock or if it is not and if it is not then you're probably going to want to lower it and if it's pretty low as low as it can get when it's increased then you might as well just want to keep it at the common uh or the original clock that it was at when you purchased it so this one's also coming to end obviously you could see that was much quicker and this actually this score was the highest score I've gotten and it kinda of surprises me that uh, overclocking could actually do this much to a CPU and sorry if you couldn't see that but it got I will click on it right now once more it got a 7001 which is a 1500 increase thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed that video uh, good luck overclocking your phone I hope this helps you figure out how to do it thanks for watching guys and subscribe